YouTube. Bad wolf. All right, so bill collectors, the secrets that they don't want you to know. All right, let's break it down uh, hard and fast here. So first of all, by the time you've gotten your calls and whatever else, the parent company that you own the money to sold that, okay? And this comes from like over 20 years and I've done all this stuff myself. Um, they've sold it already, okay? So once they sell your debt, you're no longer legally obligated to pay that debt because you only had an original agreement with them, okay? So they then sold it. Now at the end of the year, they're going to claim that on their taxes, okay? They then sold it to a, a private company or they put it in, into a block system where somebody can buy it whenever they want to buy your, your debt, okay? So it, it's not exactly illegal for them to do that, but when they sold your debt for full value and then they are going to write it off your debt for full value, that's illegal because you're collecting twice on any one debt. That, my friend, is legal. Most people don't know that. So that's one thing. Two, now the bill collectors have um, your information and they're calling you, okay? Once you write them or tell them to stop calling you, they can no longer call you and they're not supposed to, well, they can still send you a letter, okay? Um, but you can return that as, uh, you know, do not uh, message me, do not call or whatever else. Um, once you do that and they do call you even once, you can actually sue, I think it's up to $1,000 per incident, Okay, so keep that in mind. But here's the big thing. Once that has gone down, and most people are like, oh my gosh, I owe this money, and you know, they're, they're calling me, they say, I just need to give them $5 or whatever else. Don't pay, and this is the biggest part of it, of the whole video, don't pay anything of it. Because once you pay them $5, any amount, I think that's the legal, legal low standard, um, you pay them anything, you're now in a, a contract with them and you do have to pay them the rest of the money. But if you don't start paying them, you don't have to pay them. Now they might threaten you with like, you know, uh, you know, this, that, and the other. And um, so, like I had them say, oh, well, the sheriff's coming to your house, we have your bank account information, we're gonna pull money, we're gonna come to your work, um, you know, you're gonna be arrested, all this other stuff. Those are illegal tactics and they're fraudulent. You can also sue for those things, okay? Um, so don't fall for that hype or any other stuff. And here's the next thing. If it's like a, if it's a credit card or credit card debt, um, unless you signed up that you are going to give them, um, you know, collateral, like it's secured. You, you, you signed something and said, I personally vouch for this and you can have my TV, my couch, my car, my whatever. It's all unsecured debt. Okay. So if you look at your original contracts, it's all unsecured debt. You don't have to pay that back. That means they're taking a chance on you, okay? And when you don't pay them, they're just going to write that off. Congress never gave them authority to extend credit, okay, to be used as actual currency in the, in the real world. They deal with it, but if you know the secrets, you don't have to pay any of that back. So what I'm giving you right now is 20 years of information that's gold, okay? They don't want you to know this. I have personally written off at least probably $50,000 over the years, not necessarily saying I'm proud of it, but being in college and being young and crazy and stuff, things added up, business debt, all that stuff. And I, everything I'm telling you right now is what I did. I wrote all that stuff off, okay? Um, and then when they're coming after you, say the credit card company, ask them for proof of your signature, okay? Because if they don't have the original signature of you, uh, getting this credit card they can't prove who did it and they have to prove that it's really you and also there's a thing called off um, uh, verification of debts or validation of debts you ask them for a validation they need to have every receipt of everything you've ever bought down there not just the printout of what you bought but a receipt proving that you actually were that person who signed that receipt who then bought that item Okay, so if they don't have these things, they don't have much. But what will happen is they'll send you to court sometimes. Okay, I've had the court calls, the court letters, and I send them a letter back. Um, I, I don't have it right here to show you. Um, in my other video, uh, I do show a validation or a proof of uh, accepted for value. 
All right. So basically, I sent them a letter stating that you don't have all these things. All right. And uh, I'm not signing anything. I'm not going to court and, uh, you know, for it. And that if you guys are going to write it off, you write it off. But it's, it's you know, not going to go against any of my, my, uh, my personal credit or whatever else for these reasons. Uh, for those people who really, really want the form, uh, I could probably sell that. Because uh, everything has a price. I'm giving you the good information. You can look all this up your own, for yourself. Okay, do the do the work, and then you don't have to worry about buying it from me or from somebody else. Um, but if you do want that, just message me, and I will send you what I sent them. Um, I'm not like gonna do like a big whole counseling thing. You know, I'm just gonna I would provide the actual letters. But uh, anyway, long story short, uh, don't pay your bill collectors and whatever else, or at least for credit cards. Now, if it's for your house. Um, or something like a car, I'm not qualified in those areas, I'm going to be straight up. I don't know what to tell you on that, except for look up some other videos, because this ain't the one. Um, but uh, as far as regular bill collectors, uh, for you know your credit cards or whatever else, your loans, um, if it's unsecured, don't pay them. Don't, don't, I mean, if it's already gone to the bill collectors, not your primary original um, agreement person or company, don't pay them anything because otherwise you are bound into the agreement and you got to pay. So pay them up. But last tip I'll give you. You can actually call them and negotiate if you want to pay your debt. You can call them and negotiate before you do anything. If you're going to pay it, call and negotiate and say, hey, I want to I want a lower either payment. I want to what how much can I pay it off all off on or this is what I will do. I know you guys bought this debt for pennies on a dollar. I'm only willing to pay this amount in total, and I want these payments, and they'll work with you. All right, guys, so that's about it. Bad Wolf out. Hopefully this helps somebody out there. Talk to you later.